Greetings, immortal souls. My name is Jomar Doge, also known as Jomizius. Now, on the fifth day of my fast, I decided I wanted to go get a journal. I needed one that had more substance because I've been writing in this notebook that was just wide ruled, something you'd write on in like school. Truly, one of the, my favorite things to do is to look at true crime, and I also enjoy just browsing books because I love to read. I did look at some Italian made books and I really needed one with gold pages and I found one. It called to me and I fell in love with it. We left there and I decided we needed to go to a spiritual shop. My favorite one. My favorite one of all time that has so much beautiful and spiritual great material. And I took wifey there for the first time. So I decided I was going to look at some oracle cards. Oracle cards are a divination that I use for guidance from the source. There are so many different kinds, but my favorite happened to be by Dorian Virtue. Full Moon Bookstore has so many beautiful things that I love to collect, such as crystals. Crystals are a very powerful divination, and one called to me, and it's called an amethyst, and this wonderful lady helped me make a necklace out of it. And I'm going to wear it every day. And it's supposed to help me with my addiction issues and everything. So also an oracle deck called to me. One with saints and angels. And later on in this video, I'm going to show you a little bit about how they work. So as we're leaving there, I decided to have dessert. Which is just an organic turmeric tea. With no sugar, of course. And I decided to finally break open my book. I bought a couple books at the store as well. And after I finish my dessert, I will break open my journal and begin to write. Now, when I write and I journal, I know that it's very important to do because the things that are inside of you, it allows you to release them. I also burn sage to cleanse the cards right before I use them. It's very important to do so that they're energy is very clear so I got a few messages they're very powerful I did ask some questions however I feel like some of the messages belong to you what's poppin slime it's your boy Joe Joe Meezy Joe Mardo Gay I decided that this would be a special edition of my fasting journey only because I was told by the highest power by the Father Source, Universe, whatever you want to call it that some of you require this message it's just one of my many gifts that I would like to share with you all I am very gifted and I do get messages directly from Source and especially since I'm fasted, those messages come direct, unfiltered, being that my body is cleared. So I would like to share this information with you. Here we have the love card. Let me make sure y'all can see that. <laughs> I got like zoom, hold on. There it is. I got it upside down? No, it's good. It says love God. It might be backwards for you guys, but that's what it says. All right. So that card came from that deck that I showed you. And it comes with this booklet. And in this booklet, there are the meanings of these cards. So I'm going to read that one in particular to you. Because like I said, I was given the message from Source that there are some of you who require this message. So if it resonates with you, so be it. If not, let it pass by. Maybe the next card is for you. Love, God. God is love and God is everywhere. Therefore, divine care is surrounding, healing, and supporting 
your situation. The answer to your questions and your prayers is quite simply love. That's because it is all that exists. In truth, by focusing upon God and this caring, you'll find the answers, solutions, and results you're seeking. It goes on a bit more, but I was told that that's, that's the message that needed to be relayed. So we're gonna go to the next card. This is the next one. Let's see if you guys can see that. There you go. Mother. Mother Mary. Very interesting. I actually read the first card that I just read to you before, but as of right now, this is the first time that I'm hearing about Mother Mary in this, uh, in this deck. So we're gonna learn about this together. All right, and sorry if I keep looking off to the side, like <laughs> I keep looking at myself because I've never actually done this before. But like I said, I was told to. Mother Mary. Oh, I feel like I should just relay this really quick. The deck, saints and angels just in case y'all forgot from the video. So obviously, Mother Mary is considered an angel, saint, what have you. All right, I'm gonna read it. This may be for you, so pay attention. The answer to your question or your prayers involves the topic of mother. Mother Mary is with you, helping you with any emotional upsets with your own mother such as grief, anger, or worry. She can aid your healing from long-standing patterns between the two of you. As you do so, you'll also be made well in other life areas. For instance, healing mother issues improves your relationship with other women, especially powerful ones and those in authority. It helps you be more open to receiving since feminine energy is receptive. If you're a woman, reconciling any mother issues can improve your self-love and self-esteem. If that resonates with you, that was for you. If not, leave it alone. But if it resonates with you, you felt that. I'm in pretty good standing with my mom. I love my mama. <laughs> so, I'm assuming it's for, this is for someone else. It's probably for you. And if not, like I said, just let it pass. There's one more card that I'm going to read. Oh man, it's, uh, it's 11 p.m. right now. I just wanna let you guys know that. I'd like to, uh, you know, post this video uh, before it turns 12 so I can keep chronological time of my fast. You know, today is day five. Midnight will officially be day six of my water fast, you know. I still have only drinking water. I still have only had sea moss and bee pollen and tea. That's it. And you know what? I feel great. I feel blessed. I feel highly invigorated. I feel peaceful. I feel connected. I feel, I feel enlightened. Was all from the soul. Last card. What does that say? Sorry guys, like I said, I've never done this. Hopefully it's not backwards. I'll try to fix that. Vision, guardian angel. This is from your guardian angel, okay? Your guardian angel came to me to give you a message, all right? Take it or leave it. All right, so let's read this. Let's see if I can find this real quick. There it is. Okay. This is a message about honoring your vision. It asks you to trust the mental images that you've been receiving as their answers to your prayers. 
Your prophetic visions will bring blessings to you and your loved ones. You know that they're heaven inspired because of their loving nature. Only follow the messages that ask you to act on behalf of God's love. Your guardian angel is helping you clearly see the truth within your present situation. This involves a dual perspective. First, hold the intention to see the divine light within everyone and everything. This helps the highest possible outcome to occur and make sure to have faith. Second, allow yourself to see the earthly and human truth of the particular situation. I don't know what that could be. It specifically says, hold on, that's why I kind of jumbled it, because I, sometimes I use my own words that make more sense to me, but all right. Second, allow yourself to see the earthly and human truth of this situation. That's how it was supposed to be said. Is someone or something out of balance with integrity? Admit this to yourself and clearly witness the perspectives and motivations of everyone involved. This can also be a message from your angels to have your physical vision checked or corrected. I can't really see. <laughs> I'm blind as a bat. <laughs> I should be wearing my contacts. Um, prayer can help by healing your sight and also by leading you to the best optometrist or other eye care professionals. This could be for you, I don't know. <laughs> your angels surround your physical and your spiritual vision with light. Look through their eyes and you'll see the best within yourself and life itself. I truly wanna say thank you to all of you who chose to follow my journey, to experience this fast, this cleansing with me, to observe a young man on his path, just searching for his way and turning to the only source that I know has all the answers. That which is above, that which is below, that which is all around, that which is everything, that which is you, that which is me. That which was and that which forever shall be. I love y'all. Stay tuned for the next episode. It'll be day six of my water fast. Hope you guys have a glorious day. Namaste.